you guys are making this look too easy. Hey, whoa, hey. Slow down, slow down, slow down. G'day, my name is Luke, and this is my wife, Jen. And here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating, and exploring the pristine waters of the Fraser Coast for about 10 years now. So subscribe and come join the adventure. Hey Elliot, what do you think about this spot? I'm going to climb to the top there. The top of where? The cliff. Wow. That looks a bit steep and scary. We'll see. We'll go have a look, okay? Looks like lots of things to explore. Yeah, whereabouts are we? Uh, we're about halfway between... That's with Thunder Creek down there. And that's Rooney's Point. We're about halfway. I'll have to find out what the name of this is. Mm -hmm. Looks cool. Pretty spectacular. Low tide, tide's pushing in. So we'll just anchor here and creep into the tide. Looks good. Alright boys, jump off, let's go for a walk. Spread your legs. Jackets. Okay folks, welcome back to Fraser Island. We are about halfway between uh, Wathumba Creek's just down there. That's Rooney's, Rooney's Point up there, and we're about halfway. Station Hill, for the locals who know Station Hill, is about another kilometre and a half up that way. Uh, we've just pulled into this sand blow, which the boys are busy climbing. Going to have a bit of a paddle, a bit of lunch, uh, probably have a bit of a fish. Tide's pushing in, so we'll um, just see what happens today. Absolutely glorious day. Bit of a chilly run up though, because the wind was a bit chilly, but uh, not too bad. So this is second day exploring this week. Never know, we may see a whale on the way home. Maybe, fingers crossed. Okay, so that's where we're sitting currently. Uh, so we got Rooney's Point way up the top here. That's uh, Wathumba Creek. <laughs> Station Hill is about there. So for locals and people who are familiar with the area, you'd know uh, Station Hill. Um, I'll show you the trip log for today. Uh, just ignore the timer because that's just going constantly. We've done 30 nautical miles today. Uh, we've just basically hugged the coastline up along Fraser. Um, we've been about how much fuel are we? Trip fuel, trip fuel, 28.5 litres of fuel we've burnt for that 30 mile uh, to get here. So basically we just set ourselves a bit of a, yesterday we spent quite a bit of time down at the northern side of the Great Sandy Strait and you'll see footage for that in this video and then today we decided to go for a bit of a blast up the island because the sun's out, beautiful weather, uh, light breeze coming from the east and it's quite nice. We're probably going to stay here for a little bit and then shoot down closer to the Triangle Cliffs just to get a bit more protection out of the wind uh, before heading heading south. Liam's having trouble at the moment. But, uh, he's got birds circling his popper. Are they giving you a hard time, mate? Yeah, they're, they're trying to eat your popper. So we've just made it, we're on the land now. I don't know what anyone else's children are like, but mine don't listen. Sorry, ours don't listen. We told them to get out the way um, while we're unpacking the boat and they've disappeared. I suppose they kind of listen. So they're already trying to explore these giant sand dunes. So I need to go catch up with them pretty quick. That looks like a long, hard walk up there. I wish I could have 
some of the energy that my kids have. I don't even know if you could see them up there. It didn't take them very long. We're obviously not the first people to have a go. There's lots of footprints. I'll remind myself that the view is going to be absolutely amazing when I get up there. Oh, my legs are going to hurt tomorrow. Wow. It's only going to get better. Look at that. Okay. That's a long way to go. I'm only halfway up. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way. Anyway. The view is amazing. I don't know if you can see in the background, you can see all the way to Rooney's Point. Oh, wow. Luke's going to send the drone up. I think that's what he's doing now. I don't know if he needs to. Maybe I should have thought about this harder. I didn't need to follow the kids. I could have watched them with the drone. I'm going to catch my breath. And then I'm going to climb a bit more. During the last two million years, ocean currents and waves have swept sand north from New South Wales and southern Queensland. This sand has gradually covered bedrock, forming sand dunes parallel to the coast. Fraser Island is the remnant of old sand masses that once stretched 30 kilometres or more to the east. The major dune systems of Fraser have continued to build as the sea level has risen and fallen and now forms a sequence of at least eight overlapping dune systems of different ages. Some are more than 700,000 years old, the oldest ever recorded in the world. Sand blows form when strong winds break through the vegetation cover and drive sand from the eroding dunes. They engulf forests and can move at a rate of about one metre per year. The sand blow that Jen and the boys are climbing is in fact quite young. Erosion has caused the vegetation to fall away, exposing the sand, which is now slowly creeping over the trees and heading inland. It's bleeding. It's just too hot. A little bit or a lot? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Elliot had a bit of a whoopsie coming down the, uh, the sand blow, resulting in a blood nose. But uh, he's perked back up and he's up again, running around. Ready for a fish, mate? <laughs> Little trooper. I can think of worse places to be stuck, ladies and gents. Well, we're not stuck, but worse places to be. Absolute glorious. That way. Cast that way, mate, and you'll see what happens. Just don't eat your brother. Nice one. Okay, they're back from the sand blow, eating chips. What happened, Elliot? Bad boys. You fell down the cliff. <laughs> you rumbled and tumbled a little bit, didn't you? A little bit of blood on the nose. Yeah. He, his nose already started bleeding up the top. We say he was up that high. He was up that high that his nose was bleeding. He started a nose bleed and we were about to head down and I was going to film them coming down and I was getting my camera ready and then I looked and here's Elliot. <laughs> I saw one and a half tumbles and that's when he um, stopped himself, but I don't know how many he did before that. <laughs> it's quite neat somersault. Very neat. It is very high. It very is high. high. I'll have to check the drone to see exactly how high it is, but it is quite a distance I up there. I think I've climbed probably four cliff sand blows on Fraser Island and I've, that's the one that I've felt the most Felt it in the legs? legs and when I got to the top I felt like I was going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> so we got this little drain here. Okay the tide's pushing in. Coffee rock behind it. Got the little atomic pops on. Okay got the wind behind me because this thing is very light to cast and I'm hoping the camera will show 
there is a real mix of fish in there same technique rod tip up constant retrieve and hopefully we'll see all these shadows attack this lure yeah, I've got to go a bit further I think Yeah, look at them, they're right on it. Coming right up behind it. So much fun. They're so small, but they're so aggressive. Okay, Check this guy out on the popper. There are so many fish just in that little mouth over there. Okay. Throw the popper in there and they just pack attack it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if we can get a few more, eh? What are they? I'm just going to go over that coffee rock and then we'll loop back to the spot you want to go to. Hey, ready? There's a wave. And look at that. Wow. Yep. Okay, I've nearly turned all the way around. Let's head back. Okay. We made it. Okay. Is this the spot you wanted to see? Yes. I wonder how warm this is. Oh, I reckon it'll be quite warm. Yeah, Ooh. Look at all the many fish. Mm. How many fish just run in there? It's interesting. Scattered all along the coastline of Fraser Island are outcrops of soft, dark brown coffee rock. Coffee rock is made up of sand grains that are weakly connected by organic matter. These outcrops are the remnant of a time when the sand mass stretched further into the sea and the exposed coffee rock was further inland and part of the sand mass's soil layers. They're going against the current folks, against the current and against the wind. The Elliot's sitting right up the front. <laughs> Soaking wet? Did you fall in? Oh, oh the waves. Don't get it. A... Just wait till I'm. Yeah. You're having a bit of a rough and tumble day, aren't you, mate? Oh my gosh, she has. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the old way to that. Still right. not scared of anything. I think we might, uh, to get out of this wind, I reckon if we go down towards the Triangle Cliffs over there, we'll be out of the wind nicely. Okay, with most things that we seem to do, there was a change of plan. Okay. We were going to go down, hang around down there, but uh, we came past with Tumba and it looks like there's enough water to get in now, so we're going to sneak into with Tumba, just because it's, it's one of our favourites, isn't it dear? Yeah. Sneak in here. Boys love it. I think they're keen to try and find some uh, yabbies and some uh, whiting and brim. And we'll uh, see how we go. So we've got a rising tide behind us. We came past here earlier this morning and yeah, it was a long walk in, let's put it that way. Find any yabbies? Yeah, of course. I'm just there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, you just tagged it. Oh, you just tagged it. Oh, still, before it bites you. Good job. Hey, Elliot. What? Did we get enough yabbies? Yeah. Good size oh. as well. Some good yabbies in there, okay. Yeah. What's the plan? Brim or um, whiting? Go up to the point and hopefully we'll catch some brim and whiting. Ooh, over there you reckon? Yep. Okay, we're gonna make a move. Okay. So we've come into Wathumba Creek. Pumped yabbies on that side. Uh, plenty of yabbies there. Now we're gonna head over to this side 
and have a fish off the point. The reason we're doing that is the water on this side is still all fresh water pumping out. Um, and once we get over this side, it's a lot more salt coming around the point, and that's where we notice there's a lot of fish. Just ignore the little boy on the other side of the camera. He's being a bit silly because he's excited. He's too excited. We'll see if we can uh, drum up a whiting or a broom or two. So I'm getting a little bit nervous about this cloud building up on the horizon, folks. It has this uncanny knacker coming across Fraser Island really fast. So keep an eye on that. We might have to make a quick run home. Luckily we're in a boat that can move rather swiftly across the water. What have we got for lunch today, dear? Sandwiches. <laughs> Trying to feed these boys while we're on the boat is almost impossible. They just, they're constantly running and gone. So uh, what's in these? This is the backup plan. This is the backup plan. Vegemite. Love it. Love a good Vegemite sanger. Mmm, that bread looks good. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. I just noticed. We just forgot what to have lunch. Slow down. Keep him, keep him in the water. Just open the bail arm a little bit. Okay. What have you got? I got a whiting already. That's an oh, he got off. No. That's a beautiful whiting. Take your time. <laughs> Here we are trying to have some lunch. What have you got, mate? That's no, Brim. He's like, he's a top Bring him up here, mate. Oh. Oh. Mm. You guys are making this look too easy. It is pretty. Yes, buddy. Hey, whoa. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Catch a fish on a yabby as efficiently as the kids. I'm not getting any bites. Catch that there. Yep. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the honey hole's there. I swear, that's why the boat's turning. Here you go. Thank caught you. a fish today, I'm happy. I caught two fish today. Folks, it's time to head home. Those plants are coming over. It's getting late in the day, it's getting chilly, everybody's getting rugged up. Time to make the big run. What's the verdict on today, everybody? Has it been a good day? Yep. All right. Yeah. Caught some fish. Fell down a sand blow. <laughs> Did some paddle fighting. Had some food. You right there? Can be decided if you want any water after we packed away. Okay. All right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all the way. All right, let's see if we can beat that rain front. And get home before it uh, starts precipitating from the sky. Stumbled across another dingo, folks, out for his, he or she, I can't tell from here, but uh, 
for their afternoon rounds, having a look in the creek. In the late afternoon sun, the spectacular coloured sands of Fraser Island are simply amazing to see. The coloured sands of Fraser Island are the visible parts of older sand that is weakly bonded with clay. These yellow, brown and red shades of sand have formed as iron rich minerals stain the sand in a complex array of tones and hues over thousands of years. Boating along the western side of Fraser Island with the late afternoon sun lighting up the coloured sands is certainly an absolute must-do experience while visiting the Fraser Coast. Join us next week as we head into the Great Sandy Strait. We try to discover what has this bait all excited. Jen almost gets too close to a mud crab. The boys dig to find treasure and we swap white sandy beaches for acres and acres of mudflats. Hope to see you then.